All right, hi guys. Um, I'm using my phone to record this today because I've been having problems with um, with my laptop webcam. Anyway, I'm in the kitchen today. I'm making spaghetti for lunch. I'm hoping it'll be ready soon because I'm really hungry. Um, anyway, that's why I'm kind of over here stirring, as you can see. But welcome to August. It is... August is SMA Awareness Month, so I'm sure most of you already know what um, what SMA is, as I believe most of you probably know someone or have it, at least that follow me. I could be wrong though, so I wanted to go over some things about that. Um, I feel like there's so many different definitions of what SMA is out there um, that it can get... I don't know, I feel like the actual definitions are a little depressing, honestly. So, what I wanted to do, I wanted to Google search and just tell you what I come up with. So, let me do that right now. But let me tell you, my definition of, um, to me, SMA, spinal muscular atrophy, I define it as a neuromuscular condition that affects the motor neurons and in turn causes muscle weakness. I know it gets, it's a lot more serious than that, but like I said, everything it's like that I've seen, it's so depressing when it defines it. Here's what I have come up with, with my Google search. So I have the, um, I just searched definition of spinal muscular atrophy into Google. And what I came up with is SMA is a collection of different motor, motor nerve diseases grouped together. It is a second leading cause of hereditary neuromuscular disease after Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Most of the time, a person must get the defective gene from both parents to be affected. Now, that's the definition from Medline. I do not agree with that at all whatsoever. I feel like there's a lot more to it than that. Let me see if I can pull another one. All right, here we go. From the MDA, spinal muscular atrophy, SMA, is a genetic disease affecting the part of the nervous system that controls voluntary muscle movement. Most of the nerve cells that control muscles are located in the spinal cord, which accounts for the word, word spinal in the name of the disease. A little more accurate, still not quite the same thing. Um, and then another one, just from Cure SMA, that's the site that I'm going to right now. Sorry, my computer's a little bit slow, but to go to About SMA, their first sentence on the Cure SMA website, SMA, spinal muscular atrophy, is a disease that robs people of physical strength by affecting the motor nerve cells in the spinal cord, taking away the ability to walk, eat, or breathe. It is the number one genetic cause of death for infants. Okay, yes, that is true. However, like I said, it sounds very depressing to me because there's so many different types. Anyway, I guess that's my... um my two cents on that for today. I want to keep adding a video each day as time goes on. Um, you guys all know now about my experience with it. Um, one thing that I have here that I thought I'd show you guys right now on that topic actually is a can opener. For me, basic can opener is no problem. I want to point out it's no problem now that I know how to use one because for the longest time we had an electric can opener and I never had to use a manual can opener in my life so I did not know how to use it. But anyway, for someone with a more severe type of SMA than I have, this, this motion being able to just even clamp it down onto a can and even just being able to turn this, that's going to be impossible. So, like I was saying, there is truth to that definition. It just, it sounds very depressing because you can still live a, a full life with it. At least that's been my friend's um, experiences that I've talked to about it. 
anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I was saying, I plan to, um, to upload some other videos for the rest of the month, just going over what SMA is for SMA Awareness Month. Please comment below. Let me know what what SMA is to you. What's your definition of it? I'd love to hear the comments. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you hopefully tomorrow.